Chris Agarino. I'm here at Cisco Live in Las Vegas, and I'm here with founder and CTO of Funware, Luan Dang. I'm glad to be here. Nice to meet you, Chris. Luan, I understand that Funware has incredibly nice blue dot functionality built into both an SDK and software for some companies. I'd love to hear about it. Can you tell me some more about that? Sure, I'll be glad to. So we have been working in the indoor mapping, navigation, wayfinding for in the last you know four and a half years, and we have developed some very interesting tech. Um, and the tech allows you to work in a lot of different vertical. The healthcare being one of them, but we also do airport, mall, uh, stadium, um, any large venue. Uh, even like this convention center. But for instance, in the healthcare, what we do is we're able to um, navigate people from their home to the facility uh, using GPS. And then once they arrive at the facility, we remember where they park their car using GPS. And then as soon as they walk into the facility, we use the Cisco infrastructure to then locate their location and then map them and route them to their appointment inside the, the facility. Now this is a big problem for in the healthcare uh, vertical where they're losing 10 millions of dollars per hospital on just missed appointment or late appointment because it has a cascading effect. So that's the problem that we're trying to solve. Excellent, excellent. So. If I was an application developer, this sounds like it would be pretty exciting to me because uh, if I didn't have the access points, I might have some trouble figuring this out. So uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit what, how does this actually work and why did you choose Cisco? So we choose Cisco because Cisco has uh, the largest Wi-Fi deployment. I mean, you own uh, uh, the, the largest market share of Wi-Fi. Now, when you get to indoor um, location, uh, GPS is not going to work. So you're going to have to rely on the infrastructure, uh, the Wi-Fi infrastructure or BLE infrastructure or some kind of local infrastructure to get it. You cannot solve this with just, you know, Amazon Cloud or any other server infrastructure. So what we do is we rely on the CMX. So the CMX, we're using the no northbound interface from the CMX to send up the location update of your phone into the uh, via the northbound into the funware server and from the funware server we then pass that information to the um, application on the client and that's how we're able to show the blue dot as you're walking around um, now one of the things that we're very excited about Cisco recent development is this uh, hyperlocation module that you now have attached around your access point which is now getting down to a one to three meter of accuracy uh, and update within around you know 10 second update which is great. Funware is able to make use of that information using our SDK. We then provide update that more real time what the customers are accustomed to which is like half a second to a second update. So then using the sensor on the phone we produce an SDK that now update in real time as you're walking around the venue. And what Funware provide is both the SDK and the solution to these customers. So as an app developer, like you mentioned, they could use the Funware SDK to then be able to provide a Blue Dot experience inside a venue. Oh, I really love that. It's one of my favorite things here. So um, one of the things I want to ask you is when you got started with this and as you work through it, uh, we think maybe you may have had something to do with DevNet a little bit. Oh. And I'm kind of wondering, what, what do you think is really exciting about DevNet and, and what are the things you've used the most when it comes to the DevNet experience? So one of the things that we like best about the DevNet is the, uh, the sandbox that you have set up, right? Because setting up these infrastructure for a, a new company or someone new to it, it does take time consuming. And the fact that you have an MSC set up 24 hours you know, access, you don't even need reservation time. So we would be able to get on there, play around with the API, you know, to make sure that the, the, the message thing that we're coding to is uh, the right standard that, that what we expected to come from the MSC, which is great. So that gives us a heads up before we actually have the MSC set up in our own local lab to be able to test it more. So that's the, the first one. The second one I use DevNet for is the API. Uh, I mean the, the documentation, sorry. The documentation, you know, at DevNet is what I was able to use to kind of learn about the API and how we make use of the uh, CMX API. 
Great. So uh, I was thinking that if you would like to also learn how to use the CMX APIs, we'd love for you to go to www.developer.cisco.com and check out the CMX interface on Cisco DevNet. And then if you want to learn more about what Funware offer, please go to www.funware.com and click on Solution. And then you will see the, the different vertical that we already saw for. Uh, now, we also provide both the solution and the SDK. So if for do-it-yourself developer, you can just use our SDK and you can build very interesting application on top of that. Thank you.